Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Adnan, your friend from Pakistan. So uh, I just listened to Linkin Park's new song yesterday, The Emptiness Machine, and I really loved it personally. I loved uh, Emily's vocals. The thing that needs to be there for a band like Linkin Park, it was there. I could sense it, the harsh vocals and something. And I began to realize this that song was... Uh, something similar to numb and i did tell that uh, i would love to see if there is some live version of uh, her playing in her previous band but i just came across this video she did a live performance of numb as well so i am so excited to check this one out because you can understand much more about the vocals and uh, the range of a singer than a, than a studio version you know there could be some effects and such things to achieve what a singer wants to but in the live that's some tough thing to do i have listened to numb the original numb by lincoln park a lot of times and i've checked out many of their live performances of this song so i'm so excited how emily does it so let's go get started with this video but if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out any future content let's go now Maybe it's just a Okay, so uh, here's the thing that I'm feeling, you know, personally. Of course, there's a very much difference how Chester did that, you know. It was all uh, feeling very natural, like his harsh vocals and screaming. Of course, there's no substitute uh, there and maybe there will be not any substitute for, for Chester. What I was feeling when she was singing the harsh parts of that song or the screams she was trying her best what i think is she was pushing too much pressure on that thing i'm not sure what to say but this was it was like she is uh, trying her best what Chester was but it's not going to happen maybe she could uh, use her own style to do that i'm not sure i would need to check out more of her performances from her previous band to see how she used to sing and that but this is good too and there's this thing she has a very low voice you know so let's check it out further i'm waiting for the part where jester used to scream you know and i know uh, something like that so i'm going to see how she does that Like she is trying to scream and when you scream automatically your voice becomes uh, high pitched but I am not seeing that thing here I don't know why Oh. 
Sure, this is something. So yeah, there is a clearly, uh, there is some difference, you know, some of the listeners of Linkin Park uh, are not used to heavy metal and rock, but yet they do kind of like uh, their songs, you know, even if Chester is screaming from the top of his lungs. What she is doing here is very much similar to what uh, black metal musicians or you could say ginger uh, gingers uh, i don't know her name i i know her name but i can't remember right now tatiana right so they use a lot of techniques like vocal fries and such things so i'm sensing those things here but chester didn't feel like if he was uh, doing it in another genre you know it was perfectly balanced for those who listen to metal and uh, hard rock songs and also to those who love to listen some soft core or pop songs you know he was a magician i must say he was something else but one thing i am noticing in this concert this live event is that the audience is loving it uh, whatever she is doing and maybe she could uh, you know maybe she needs some time to adjust to this band. I'm just describing my feelings, you know. I'm not uh, very much technical about uh, vocals and music in general, but I'm just uh, expressing my own opinions and what I feel. I can't uh, tell you something and I'm, which I'm not feeling. Then there's no use of uh, making these videos. So, yeah, let's. So, yeah, let's see. I would like to hear the part again. So I guess everything that I felt has been said before uh, and uh, there's clearly a very much difference of the vocal styles of both uh, the singers, you know. But I'm so glad they are back, you know. I loved their song, The Emptiness Machine, that was something good, you know. But looking back at these old performances, it just automatically takes us back to the time and Chester used to sing in a way that no one could, you know. And now I'm more curious to listen to any of her performance if she has done so. I've given up. You know, that scream, uh, I think it was some 20 seconds or even more. I believe it's about 30 seconds. He screams and it's, uh, you could see his nerves, you know, the vein, this one the jugular vein you could see that and it tells how much of the effort he is putting in on that so that is not something everyone could do i know that but i would still like to see how she would do it why do i feel that she needed to be in a band that was more into death metal such things you know i would totally feel if it's a death metal band if the beat of the song was a bit higher you know i'm not saying that she isn't good singer she is of course but we are used to the old things you know it's so hard to let those things go those feelings i'm looking forward to more 
newer songs from this band now. I don't think I would watch as much live performances as the new content from this uh, new music videos from uh, Lincoln Park now. So this was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos like these. See you again next time. Bye.